Hello, and welcome back to Nerd Doc. Vikings Valhalla has finally arrived on Netflix, but what many people may not know is that Vikings Valhalla Season 2 and Season 3 are confirmed to be coming over the next few years. This video will discuss the potential Vikings Valhalla Season 2 release date and what we expect to see in the next season of the show. There are chapter timestamps below if you'd like to jump around. There will be spoilers for Season 1 of Vikings Valhalla, but if you do not wish to be spoiled, you can check out our spoiler free review linked below. If you have any predictions for Season 2 of Vikings Valhalla, leave a comment below and let us know what you think. By the end of this video, I hope to have earned your like and subscription. Before we talk about Season 2, we're going to have to discuss some of the events that happened during Season 1. Season 1 ends with King Canute fending off an invasion in Denmark. His father, King Forkbeard, is sailing into Kattegat where Olaf is fleeing and Leif Erikson has just gone berserk. Jarl Hakon is now dead, but Freydis saved Harald Sigurdsson after he was injured during the battle. That's just a quick recap, but if you're looking for a more detailed take, you can check out our Season 1 Plot and Ending Explained video, also linked below. We have a decent idea of the path most of the characters are on, and we'll discuss that shortly, but Leif Erikson and his sister Freydis are the big wildcards. In our Vikings Valhalla historical accuracy video, we talked about the fact that Leif and his sister are not actually part of the events of the show. Almost everything about Leif in Season 1 was fictional, so where he and his sister end up in Season 2 is going to be much more guesswork than what we think will happen to everyone else. With that said, Leif lost his love and is now acting very similar to his father, Eric the Red. However, he's still close to Harold Sigerson and King Canute, who will have to deal with this new berserker Leif. It would not be out of the question for Leif to be banished back to Greenland by the end of the season, similar to his father. This would help set up Leif's voyages to North America, which is what he's mainly famous for. King Canute will continue conquering until he is king of England, Denmark, and Norway. In the show, he's already king of England and Denmark, which only leaves Norway and getting rid of Olaf. We'll probably see a second battle between King Canute's army and Olaf's army, in which Olaf should die during this battle, killed by his own people. Canute will also have a son with Queen Emma, but the king will probably end up dying by the end of Season 2 or possibly during Season 3, at which point we may see Queen Emma and Canute's other wife, Queen Elfgafu, clash once more. Historically, King Canute and Harold Sigerson were enemies, but in the show they're on the same side. That makes it difficult to predict where his story will go in Season 2. Harold Sigerson will likely still be with Freydis, and we might see some setup for Season 3, where he may do battle against his half-brother Olaf's son Magnus for the throne of Norway, or potentially a battle for the throne of England, during which he eventually dies. It all depends on how much ground they cover in Season 2. Leif Erikson will likely stick around Canute and Harold Sigerson for the time being, maybe assisting in the second battle against Olaf. Eventually he'll either leave for Greenland voluntarily, or he'll kill someone he shouldn't have and get banished back to Greenland. Either way, this will likely set up Leif discovering North America by the end of Season 2 or 3. Freydis may go with Leif, or she may stay with Harald Sigerson. It's hard to say because historically Harald Sigerson and Freydis never meet, and Freydis is heavily involved in Leif's expeditions to North America. We may even see Freydis take over for Yahakun, leading Kattegat and possibly prepping the community for Olaf's next attack alongside Harald Sigerson and her brother Leif. King Forkbeard may also stick around and assume leadership of Kattegat, depending on where King Canute starts Season 2. If Canute is still in Denmark, Forkbeard would need to go back to England. When it comes to the release timing of Vikings Valhalla Season 2, fans can rejoice because it shouldn't be a long wait. Season 2 wrapped filming back in November of last year. Season 1 had about 5 months of post-production before it was ready to stream, but Netflix waited 6 months after that to release it. This is common since Netflix has so many new shows and movies in the pipeline and they want to spread out their big hits. With Season 2 filming having wrapped in November, add another 5 months of post-production and that puts us at April. Obviously Netflix won't release Season 2 so soon after the first season, and they have Stranger Things Season 4 releasing in May and July. Yeah, that's two parts now. So our best guess is to expect Vikings Valhalla Season 2 to arrive sometime this fall, probably between September and November. With Cobra Kai Season 5 and likely either The Witcher Blood Origin or maybe The Witcher Season 3 coming around that same time, it's hard to narrow it down any further than that. However, Vikings Valhalla Season 3 should start filming within the next few months, meaning Season 3 could arrive as early as mid-2023, about 6 months after Season 2 hits Netflix. You can't really complain too much since we'll be getting a new season of Vikings Valhalla about every 6 months or so. That wraps up this video. Once again, if you have any predictions about Season 2 or any questions, leave a comment with your thoughts. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Vikings.